G'day YouTube, Sean the High Handicap Golfer here. I've just got a delivery. Now, could what's in this box be a game changer for mid and high handicap golfers? Let's find out. G'day guys, Sean here. We're back, a bit of a clothing change and we've uh, opened up the package. Pretty excited to be honest, uh, something a bit different, but uh, here we have it. So what's in the package, let's step back so you can see, it's actually a broomstick putter. So it's 49 inches long, approximately. Um, and we're just testing it out. I just want to see, my, my putting's normally okay. Um, last couple of times it's been a bit higher than I'd like. So just trying a few things out, just testing whether it's going to suit for me and even suit for other high and mid handicap golfers. So I'm going to roll a few putts. I'll, I'll be honest, I've rolled a few already. So just trying to get a uh, bit of a gauge on it all. Um, we'll roll a few and see how it goes today. Um, just still trying to figure out a bit of a setup. So just join us and see how we go here. So being a broomstick and no longer the, the long putter that they used to be called, you can't, um, yeah, you can't anchor it. That's the word. Sorry, you can't anchor it up to yourself anymore. Um, so you can't anchor it to your chest up here. Um, you have to hold it off. So you have to actually keep it off, give you the other way. So it's got to be off, off the body here. And you can't anchor this arm in close either. So you can't keep that in. So your arm has to actually be out. I watched a few YouTube videos. So there's a few different ways to do it. Um, you can hold the top, keep your arm out. You can claw grip, pistol grip, or you can sort of standard grip. Um, I'm still trying to figure out which one's the best for me at the moment, but I think the standard grip, um, what they do, a lot of people recommend keeping this elbow uh, 90 or parallel with the ground. Um, at the moment, I like holding the top of it, keeping it hold. So we'll see how we go here. Eh? I go like a wide stance, try and line it up best we can. Uh, mount, and you just sort of Pivot back and forth. Oh, not bad. So still getting used to it, to be honest. So the putting area they have is around the side of my house. Um, just a bit of carpet from from the local hardware shop, and just a uh, a putting cup, an old Dunlop one. Works a treat though. So line it up. I like to have a nice wide base with this, I feel. Just what feels comfortable. <laughs> feels pretty good, to be honest. So even the ones that I practiced with a bit earlier, it, um, it seems, seems quite good. So you can see here that it's a little bit old and worn, this one. Um, it is. It's a uh, Facebook Marketplace special, to be honest. So, kind of for 70 Australian, so which is about about 50, 50 American, uh, about 50 pounds as well. So, um, what is it? A team Daiwa, Daiwa. So hard to hard to see there. Um, just a long putter. So, just trying it out before I commit to buying a better one or a, a new one. Right here we go. Oh, <laughs> to be honest, this is what I found uh, beforehand as well. Having a few putts with it, it, um, I don't know, it feels easy, to be quite honest. Um, as long as you don't, I think the thing I find is I push too hard down with this hand, pushing hard down, so it forces it and it makes it hard to uh, take away. But if you're sort of nice and relaxed, Make sure it's just touching the ground or just above. And you get a nice, nice flow. Oop, that one's a bit of a push. I feel like you just, yeah, you can't force it. It's heavy, it's big. Kind of just got to let it come back and forth. So, so far so good. I do have my, uh, my Cleveland putty here, which is a, uh, a 34 inch one. I 
So I might give that a couple of goes. Obviously very, very different putting style, actually. Still in. So I try and keep my head over the ball with, with both of them, um, just to make it easier for myself. Putting all right with this one. Apparently, uh, apparently today is the uh, good putting day. We'll just push that one. So just push that one a bit. I'm not sure how I go. Um, sorry, I'm not sure how I feel about. Because I normally like like my putter pretty good, but I think I um I think the long putter just feels easier to be quite honest. Just feel like there's less, I don't know, less work involved. So what I do is, where, well, there's not much information on YouTube, to be honest. So it's all open to interpretation. But the best way that I figured out, well, a few hits beforehand is getting the shaft below my sort of chin line. So I can almost see down it, down the shaft. Just gives me a good line of the ball. And seems to be working okay. It just feels, I don't know, the feel is easier, I guess. I guess I just have to, it's less work. I don't know, it's hard to describe. Oh, that's a bit short, but it's still rolling. <laughs> um, <clears throat> excuse me, yeah, it, it just feels, feels easier, definitely. So... Oop, close. Just push that one a bit. I feel like I have to, everything has to be tight with the, the standard size putter, so I'm, I'm making sure that, that I'm coming in a straight line back and through. Which is, which is okay, but I feel, again, with the long putter, I'm just a lot more relaxed wider stance, over the ball a bit more. I'm not gripping anything really hard. I just sort of look at where I want. This, oh, the concrete here goes a bit uh, right to left. So right side of the cup. And I just let the club do the work. So really, I'm pretty happy with it to be honest. So first impressions are, it's great. Um, it's, it's big, it's heavy, but it feels easy to use. So we might do a few bit more testing with this compared to the, uh, the 30, the 34 inch. So this is my, my Cleveland mallet 34. So we might do a bit more testing out in the course or at least at, um, at our practice greens in the, in the coming days, hopefully, depending on weather in Melbourne. So thanks for watching. Love if you could give us a uh, subscribe and a like. Um, really helps the channel along and, and gets it seen around YouTube. So appreciate that and thank you. Have a good one and uh, we'll see you again soon. Cheers, guys.